guys, so another thing. I'm gonna take you guys live on this body work. So, right here, you wanna be looking at what you're doing. So you look close at all the scratches. Make sure they're all nice and even. Okay. And you have an idea of how this line goes. It goes from skinny to fat. And then it closes back up. Right here. Okay. So just look at it. Clean it up. Take a look at it. Looks pretty even. Okay. Like I said, you can use something like this and put it in there. Yeah. See how I'm twisting it a little bit? Like that. Or you could use something like this. Right? Something like this. And you use the edge of it, like I said in the story. So like this. And once again, keep looking at the lines. You see right here where it's still not sanded? Then you come back and I'm, I'm gonna exaggerate it. You go like this a little bit and get in there. That little line. See that? Right up in there. Now go the other way. You're just molding it. Mold it. Go this way. Now you go the other way. Go the other way. Cross it. Like that. Like there. Like there. Now you go the other way. Like now you can use a bigger block, but if you do it even with this little one, it will come out straight. You don't have to worry about it. Some people might say, you gotta use a long block on there and make it all straight. Big old long one, like about that long, but you don't have to. You can use this one, just make sure you do it even. You gotta just see it. Let's come out there. Got it really. Right? There. Now, there's like a little bit of glue right there. Pick it out. Like that. Okay. Still feel a little something right there. Okay. So another thing I wanted to add is that on this car, I'm not going to take it down to metal. I did on the fenders because they were painted they were painted uh, at least twice after factory and this the rest of it has only been painted once and it had a very light coat a very light coat and then under that coat was primer so I'm not gonna worry about that I'm just gonna block it basically get to the primer underneath it and then I'm gonna primer it again once it's all nice and straight body work done so basically this is gonna be the gray is all the primer right all this gray paint is basically the primer along with the primer so now we're blocking it I'm gonna get it as straight as I can with one block and then I'm gonna primer it and block it one more time and that's it spray it so the hood is a little beat up it's cracked like right there I might cover those or put the other little oval ones that everybody's using and the gaps are kind of ugly right here so I gotta straighten that out because that's a fat gap right there and it don't look too pretty even though I'm not trying to build a super duper straight car but hey i'm already there i'm close to it i might as well get a lot better than that 
Over here it's a little closed and over there it's a little open. But the lines over there are pretty straight. So I'm, it might just be the hood is a little bit off. Right? So I need to shift the hood a little bit. And then what else? This thing had uh, some holes for the, it had like a wide body, a cheap little ghetto wide body on it. You see the holes right there? So I gotta plug these up and then I'm gonna take all these moldings off because I don't wanna, I might as well take them off. And then, what else? I got these things new from LMR. And then I gotta take all these things off and paint them. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do flat black or if I'm gonna do like a charcoal gray, but I might just do black, I don't know. I'm still thinking of a paint scheme. And then, what else? I still need windows. So if anybody has some quarter windows, Hit me up. I need some. And then, what else? What else? What else? That's about it. Look at how good these doors closed. Bam. That gap is pretty nice. That one right there looks pretty sweet. This one, it needs a little bit of help. I gotta fix that gap. And then the bumper doesn't line up too perfect, so I gotta <whistles> clean that up. This side's a lot better, but it's still sticking out right here. I have to line that up. And then right here, this gap is a lot better than the other one but still needs a little bit of adjusting right there. So once I get all that done and straightened out, I'm gonna primer it, right? And then I'm gonna take it apart again. And I'm still debating on if I should do the jams or not because this is the original paint under here. This is the original paint, right? The original stuff right here, so I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do with it, but it's original paint, painted once, and that's where we're at. So, plug out these holes over here. Oh, check out how this door closes right here. Hey, yeah. Where's the food scale at? Um, it's in that drawer underneath. The drawer? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Look at this one. Look at that one. Bam. Don't even got to slam it. Okay. I already lined up the trunk. If you guys need some tips, like if I'm, like if I'm a tip giver, you know? I'll give you guys some tips on how to line it up. And uh, I got this cool little tool right here for welding. I usually use it for welding, but it's good for taking out dents and also for stuff that's a little curved. So you don't dent this edge right here. But let's see, what else? What else, what else? I'm gonna take off all these moldings and spray them. And the roof, good thing it's super straight. Super straight already. Just gotta block it. Gotta block the hood. Block the fenders. And then fix this ugliness right here. Look at that. Just look at it. It's pretty beat up. But like I said, I might plug those fix this, work a miracle on that, and then 
make a plate to hold the radiator and the overflow and I don't know I think that's about it I need that that little weather stripping or whatever that goes back there on those holes and where do you work at I work in my garage I work in my garage right now um let's see and then I gotta take the bumper back off because I just put it on there to see how it was in a fit because this is an aftermarket bumper I have an original one but that one fits pretty good the only thing that I have to fix the plate because it's sagging see how it's sagging right there I want it to be like up up there so if I can't get that to lift up I'll uh put the original one on there and see if it fits any better because I don't like that I'd rather do some body work to the other one and can I bring mine to you for an estimate no I don't want to do any jobs I don't want to take on any customer cars I don't want to deal with any of that I want to get my projects done and then reevaluate where I'm at when I get there, when I get these things done. And then, and then we could talk about maybe just taking on some projects. But I do want to do a decent job on this to show my work. That way I can maybe promote myself with this one and the truck. I don't know yet, I might sell this one. But if I don't need the money and I have it, I'm gonna try to promote it maybe, well already through Instagram but maybe also through YouTube. I just haven't made the time to post some videos, but I need to make some time. And I just, I just been feeling like I need to get a lot more done on this, this car, my truck, and uh, yeah, but. I don't mean to be rude about saying I'm not taking no jobs, but that's where I'm at right now, you know? And, um, what else? That's pretty much it. You guys haven't checked out the bottom of this car? Check it out. Just some SN, some uh, SN95 brakes and stuff. It's still looking pretty good on here. The exhaust, I don't like how much it sticks. I don't like how much it goes, it sticks out under there. So I might, I might do something about that, I'm not too sure. And I still gotta fix the transmission, cross member, and uh, paint it. I gotta weld. I just have a screw hole in it that I welded a hole. I welded a hole. I drilled a hole right here and I just stuck it through there just to make sure that it was in a fit right. And it's being held on by a nut over here. So I'm gonna have to put a, a tube that I'm gonna weld through there and through over here. And it's gonna be like the spacer. And that'll pretty much wrap up the bottom of it. But. It looks pretty good under there. Maybe I could turn the light on and you guys could see it. Or maybe not. But anyways. The exhaust. The exhaust. I have it sticking out the side, but in case you guys haven't seen where I say that that's just temporary because I don't really like that. It's too loud and it looks ugly. But I have the I have some beat up cat backs like uh, stock ones with the flow masters but they're pretty rusted and rotted so I'm not sure I have to come up with something there and then have them stick out the back and I still have to figure out what I'm gonna do with this because on the on the new edge 
on the new edge that I use for parts uh, it's different it's longer and it sticks out I might have to take it off and cut it and weld it shrink it because down there if you guys ever done the swap at the tank the hole for this the filler neck is smaller on the newer car than it is on the Fox body so if you guys are planning on doing that swap you have to keep that in mind that you're gonna have to do some fabricating right there or 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 if you use the Fox body tank with the Fox body filler neck then you don't have to worry about that but I'm making this a returnless system which I think it already is kind of returnless but it has like some evap stuff that I'm not too sure about yet so and the canister the evap canister or whatever goes back here in the corner in the newer ones and obviously in the fox bodies it's over there in the front but we'll see about that still gotta figure out some things because I also took off the EGR I did an EGR delete I made that plate out of the stock, the EGR uh, housing. And uh, I still gotta come up with something to hold these, the fuel lines because the Victor Junior intake for this, for the 4.6, you have to buy the fuel rails to make it fit. But I figure that those fit on there, I just have to make a little contraption or something to, to hold them down which I'm gonna I already have an idea of what I'm gonna do so I'll get that done and that's pretty much it for the for the motor for now I have a turbo and I have nitrous but I'm not too sure I don't think I'm gonna use it on this yet I have a couple nitrous bottles up there right there and I have my turbo sitting somewhere over there but that's where we're at it's pretty much an update and yeah, if you guys if you guys are building a car or something i'm gonna start trying to take more videos and give you guys pointers in case you guys don't know how to line up like like i guess it just depends how much detail you want to put into it you know but like stuff like this look at that it's sticking out, you know, it's higher. So I'm going to make that flush. So that way this right here is not sticking out too because that sticks out. And if you look at it from the side, that's an ugly picture. And I guess it's just how much detail you want to go into it, you know. But if you guys want to learn how to fix stuff like that or like these gaps, these gaps that a lot of you just uh, leave kind of messed up, or like the gap over here and here right there and right here like I guess to some people it wouldn't matter but this one I want it even to look even with this side so we'll fix that and then what else yeah once again you guys quarter windows I need quarter windows if you guys have some message me I'm trying to get this car done. Hopefully within the next couple of weeks. See if I can get this paint job, the body work done in a, I'm not even gonna say it time, but I wanna get it done ASAP. So this is gonna mark the day that we start hauling butt on body work. And I'll update you guys again later. Oh yeah, just so you guys know. I had thrown out my back. If you guys didn't already know of some of the posts that I put on the story, I threw out my back. And I was kind of out for like a week trying to get things done. Uh, I, was, I was hurting, but trying to get some stuff done, whatever I could. But all I really did was mock up these fenders and put the hood, mocked up the hood. And I put the hood by myself messed up my back even more so went and uh, binge watched Lucifer 
Yeah, the whole six seasons in the, like a week, <laughs> a week or two. But now I gotta get back to work, get my projects done. And uh, if you guys have a, a few projects like I do, you know how much weight you carry when you feel like you didn't get done what you could have got done and you feel kind of behind on your projects. Some people, probably a couple years or so, kind of like me with my trick. But it is what it is, and you got to get over that and get back to work as soon as you can because the more you keep thinking about it, the more weight it is. So I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to get back to work. You guys, you guys stay tuned or not, whatever, you know. Oh, yeah, I'm taking off the delight. Everything's kind of just mocked up right now. Uh, once again, I was mocking up the bumper to see how it fits. The front is mocked up too. I'm gonna take that back off. This is just on there so I can get all the gaps straight. And then I'm gonna take the doors off again. I'm gonna get all the gaps straight and then I'm gonna take the doors off. That is if, oh, what I was saying earlier, this is original paint. Original paint. So I'm not too sure if I'm gonna go into that. Cause that looks pretty good to me. And I don't know. I might paint it if I do a different color, like besides silver, I might do the jams. But I'm thinking of doing some kind of two-tone, which I usually do. I usually have done two-tones on Mustangs or like my Cougar was a two-tone. If you guys follow my Cougar page, I had a black and then, and then green. But on this, I'm thinking of doing, I'm thinking of doing something. I'm going to draw it out because I usually draw stuff out nowadays, you know, the whole chip boost thing and whatnot. So I'm gonna draw like the design that I'm thinking of. And then, I don't know, I might try to color it so you guys can see the colors that I'm trying to pick out. But, obviously I wanna match it up to that. So I'm thinking kinda of gray with maybe two little red stripes or something. Maybe gray with two little red stripes to separate it and then silver. Or, I'm still not too sure, I'm probably not going to do a regular two-tone. I'm going to draw out some things and then we'll see. But for now, I'm just going to prep it, get it ready. And this is all mocked up, it's all going to come off. This tail light is a Mexican tail light. I'm not too sure, I might just leave it. I might just leave it and, and fix these tail lights, but they have a little bit of cracks. Like, check that out. Hecho in Mexico. Mexican tell it and then this is original but yeah follow along for little tips or don't whatever right but that's where we're at all right you guys